What is going on guys? So yesterday update 9 hit us. It came a little earlier than intended. It was meant to be uh, on the 25th, but they actually dropped it on the 23rd. Although, despite it coming out early, there was a little bit of delay which left everybody on the edge of the seat waiting for the update. And uh, when it hit, there was definitely a few mixed feelings about it. Overall, you know, a lot of good changes being made. Not drastic changes, but, you know, improvements to systems and little changes to the meta and the likes. But also a few kind of iffy things with the uh, the AA and a lot of blurriness, you know. Um, a lot of Play-Doh in the distance is the easiest way to put it. But yeah, I'm going to try and do a quick rundown because there is so much in this update. So uh, I'll leave the patch notes below if you want to kind of deep dive into it yourself. But I'm going to run through some of the most important things that you're going to notice just as, you know, the average soldier going around. So starting off, the first thing that you're going to notice when you drop in to the game, you've dropped into a lobby, is you're going to see the new kind of deploy screen. And overall, I do like it, but there's bits that I kind of don't. So, you know, you see here on the top right that you've now got a list of deployable locations. I personally don't understand why you um, see other squads ones that you can't spawn on it's just it kind of just clutters it up you know if you've got like seven ops and like seven garrisons it's just a mad list and it's a big feckin mess i'm pretty sure it's, the, it's they've changed it and added that because of console which is kind of annoying but you know it is what it is um and in terms of the actual map trying to figure out they've changed the icons for the ops but right now you know there's no there used to be kind of like a green thing around your own op and now there's not and so like you're kind of looking you know if you've got like a line of ops or you know you're close to an, uh, another friendly one or whatever you're playing on offensive and they're all stacked on the fucking point it's a uh, really hard to try and find your uh your op if one's up and um yeah i really hope they kind of change that maybe add one that's your kind of squad's op make it green constantly or whatever just some adjustments to make it better because overall i do like it but it's just yeah it's, it's just a little annoying so speaking of op they've actually lowered the german antenna on their op so you'll see it's a lot kind of stubbier in that way and a lot easier to um hide and conceal you're also easily able to jump up on top of it so it's kind of it's a serious buff to be honest to it you know if you can hop up over and look over a hedge it's uh yeah it's definitely definitely got to be a nice improvement they're looking to make it similar to the allies ones because it's pretty small so to be honest even just adjusting and removing the antenna right now because that's um that be that can be pretty pretty powerful if you uh if you get on top of the right kind of position you know easily hop over the walls or ho see over hedges and stuff so yeah hope they do actually end up just removing it and entirely so we're going to run down through some of the changes made to some of the classes in the game. Um, I'm also going to have the visual changes to the guns running on the screen while I'm kind of talking about this. So you'll see kind of some of the differences, whether you notice them or don't. Uh, I certainly did, uh, especially compared to the PTA. There was uh, really some grainy looking wood on those guns. So um, yeah, I'm really liking how they look now. And uh, definitely some of the sound changes being made as well. So the first problem before we go into that is just it's, there's a bug with the officer loadout where you can't actually change your loadout and you have to leave the squad and rejoin. Um, yeah, I hope they fix that pretty soon. So the first thing and probably one of the, my favorite things being added is the MG34 has been added to the MG class. And uh, some people are like, I don't understand why. And I was well, I was very skeptical at first, but uh, honestly, I really love it. It's a lot easier to control. It's a, it's better on the hip fire. Although I do feel like the alignment now for the hip fire is weird. It's like it lines to the end of the gun as opposed to, you know, where you think it goes to the middle of the screen. So um, kind of weird. I don't know whether it's meant to be intentional, but yeah, it's definitely uh, easier to control. It's easier to kind of be running around with obviously if you're just going to be more stationary you want to take the mg42 but the 34 definitely helps if you're going to be a little more mobile they've also added the bar to the allies mg class as well so that's going to be a little kind of change i was hoping to see a bipod added to it and um, maybe in the future but yeah it, obviously it is considered a light machine gun um before you know the germans kind of came and rechanged that and then the the americans brought out the browning so yeah hoping to see a bipod added to the bar and as well, the bar sounds absolutely unreal at the minute um, with the added kind of updated sounds to it. And the MG434 is honestly amazing. I just love the sound of it. So the next class that's got a serious amount of love is the Engineer. So first off, barbed wire not only deployed by the uh, player, but also all barbed wire or just about all barbed wire on the map is going to have that slowing effect. and You will not be able to walk through it. However, there is a little bit of a bug at the minute where you can still vault over them if you get it, time it right. But yeah, hopefully they'll fix that out soon. 
and uh yeah they've also visually changed the barbed wire so it's now like a tree stack instead of the uh the little um single coils but yeah that's definitely going to change up a lot of places that are on the map you know in terms of wm4 on utah is um gonna be a lot harder to attack now and you're gonna have to you know there's gonna be a lot more funnels that you can make and especially um if you use you know add in player build ones as well it's really gonna kind of change it up you're gonna have to use the likes of satchels to blow it up um currently rt i don't think can destroy it uh, ats can't and i haven't seen tanks yet so we'll have to see what i can actually kind of we'll have to do a bit of testing with that they've also made a change to the nodes where one engineer can place all four nodes you know so there's no need for uh you know getting four different squads to all place one each one of each node one engineer can do it all and i've actually done it in one of my games and it just makes it so much easier you know i spend 10 20 minutes just setting them up at the start of the game and uh boom you know you're good to go for the rest although saying that they've made a change that now if you lose a sector you lose the nodes so before your nodes would remain and it'd be fine now they're gonna disappear so it kind of actually takes it away from the uh, satchels and you don't get that xp so i kind of hope they bring it back so that it doesn't because i mean that was nice xp to be honest but uh yeah they've also made it so that the blueprints are now a two second dismantle so you know if some you know you place it in the wrong place or some dummy has placed it something in a, an unnecessary place or you want to place it somewhere else you know you can just dismantle it in two seconds you don't have to sit there for like a good what felt like fecking forever to dismantle so it's a nice change. We also need to now place them 50 meters apart, which I'm happy with this because I hate when people just stacked nodes up on top of each other and then one such a charge will blow them up. Um, so the 50 meter radius now actually gets them so uh, out of range of being all blown up by the likes of artillery and stuff. So it's uh, it's great to see. And also blueprints will despawn after three minutes. So big changes coming to the engineer and um, definitely, definitely well welcomed. Also, we will see the AT cannon being reduced from 100 supplies down to 50. So, you know, we're definitely going to see a lot more kind of pack cannons be placed around the map now with the fact, you know, you don't have to get 100 supplies. It can just be, you know, your little uh, support guy can place down 50 supplies and you can get one up. So uh, it's definitely, again, a welcome change. So as well, they've also added a new tank commander class, which is pretty much all it is, is they've removed the Thompson and given you a blowtorch. So, uh, you know be it what you will i don't play too much tanks so i'll have to leave that up to the tankers to discuss as well they've also added a new sniper class which um is pretty much just it adds bounce and betties um that's pretty much it's not not much else different they've also added the melee into the game which is seriously well welcomed because the amount of times i've gone into a building and i or like i'm being stealthy and stuff and there's just some dude there and i want to just you know quickly get rid of him i don't want to alert everybody yeah well welcomed and it's you know it's a very bloody situation <laughs> say at least you get blood all over your hands it's uh interesting also i've noticed as well if you are covered in blood and you go into water it will remove it so yeah just a nice little touches there now um so they've said they've added the new aa features which are basically the changes that were allowed and most people were making to their any files um and they said they've locked the any files but as of current i can still access them and nothing's changed to be honest and trying to use the other ones that made it worse so i don't know what the crack is with that um hopefully there's a bit of a hot fix that comes in they that said they did acknowledge the, the blurriness because that's what i mean a lot of the first thing you notice when you load into the game is everything's kind of blurry and stuff and yeah so hopefully hot fix soon will kind of sort that out and get things how it's meant to be but overall you know it's 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 a great change to see coming but you know it hasn't actually fully you know come in that sense uh because they've you know still still a bit of an issue with it so hopefully they get that fixed and it will then become a positive because right now it's a fairly big negative so they've also added a two minute staging timer which is amazing to see because that was great for you know obviously that's going to really help with the kind of comp side but also in just regular matches just being able to kind of gather your thoughts and you know get all the team on the same page before uh, the game kind of starts you're able to go through the first column and um yeah you'll be able to pretty much kind of prep where you're going to go and it's going to be just it's a lot better for organization of the game so next is arguably the biggest change coming into this patch and that is the reintroduction of the red garrisons so essentially you'll be able to build garrisons in the first column of the enemy territory that cost 100 supplies they will get disabled within 100 meters not dismantled just disabled they've also made it so that these will no longer be able to be built in the neutral section at the start of the game which they could before they've also upped the airhead timer to three minutes which was two minutes before so again just little changes and to the meta whatever 
you know, going, going wild. So I'm not a big armor guy, so I'm not spending too much time talking about the armor in detail, because they'll be able to kind of, I'll leave that to someone who actually plays armor. So essentially, they're going to reduce AT mine damage done to tanks to kind of balance the heavier tanks a bit more. So mines will no longer instantly destroy Tiger tanks, Panther tanks, Sherman 76s, or Sherman 75s. So the light tanks and the scout cars will definitely take more, you know, they'll be blown up instantly, but uh, the heavier tanks will not. It's kind of a nice way to kind of balance them and make, make the, the heavier tanks a bit stronger. Tank MG build has been increased from 100 to 200, and it's also had those zeroing fixes that have been made to all guns in the game, so all guns are now set to 100 meters. Bombing runs in RT will no longer deal proximity damage to tanks, only direct hits will actually damage the tank itself. And also when there's a recon that goes overhead, trucks will display as a hollow diamond and tanks will display as a full diamond. So before they were all full diamonds, they've just changed this so that you can now actually distinguish which is a tank and which is a truck. Also, they've added Utah offensive uh, modes into the game. So you've got the German and the Allied um, offensive. So these is where also where they're bringing kind of more night maps. So as you can see where the gun testing I was doing earlier on, that's on the uh, Allied one where it's kind of later in the day as such. Um, there, I haven't got any footage currently of the German one, which is the kind of nighttime one, but I'm sure you've seen pictures around of it and the kind of a really big change that they made is that the cap time in the offensive modes are now going to be 60 seconds instead of 120 so there's no longer that two minutes it's going to be just a one minute timer so it's definitely going to help speed up the game and last but not least there wasn't in the patch notes but they have added partial controller support why you'd want to do that i don't know but you know it's there if, if you want to know that'll be a whole video of its own um but yeah Overall, some really good things, some really not good things, but, you know, it's been it's been a pretty positive, I think, overall, you know, once things get kind of ironed out with this patch. But, um, yeah, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.